Okay, 20 minute, 5 second game. Let's develop the knight. Supporting the pawn for a brief moment. And again supporting the pawn because if the bishop takes, then obviously the knight will be able to take this pawn. So don't mind doubling the pawns in this situation. Fairly comfortable with that. And let's just develop the knight as usual, maybe making space for the kingside castle in. And yeah, let's just bring the bishop out. So a bit of a somber opening. Bringing the bishop through, x ray through to the queen. And maybe get a bit of castle in. The bishop's obviously coming out where it's castled already, so there's castle. So he's not actually blocked the bishop from coming here, so they're feeling fairly confident about something. So let's bring the bishop here, x ray through to the queen. And let's just hit their bishop. Grab. Actually on the pawn, so this pawn is probably coming to support, opening up a bit more space around the king, maybe touching onto the rook a little bit. Don't need to move so fast, just um, think it through, calculate as best possible. The smallest of calculations can be a one move calculation, you know, um, my maximum is a four move calculation because um, it's, more, it's more effective keeping it small scale. So the queen's moved off of the um, x-ray, it's hitting here, so we could take, takes, I'm going to take the knight. So we still have a bit of purchase on this pawn. Maybe squeezing the queen, maybe attacking their queen. Do we lose the impetus if we attack the queen? If we come here, the queen's going to get here anyway, supporting the pawn. And we do like these types of attacks. But at the moment, the king is a little bit airy. But there's not a right lot we can do about it because the rooks aren't in the play. We've got pawns blocking our way. So do we look to try and cause some destruction? All depends what they're doing now. But you would probably think maybe this rook moves out of the way so the king can look to escape here. my calculation for now because he can go over the board and then when they do make a move instantly making the wrong move so I don't want to overthink the situation that's part of learning how to be a, a nice pleasant casual player for yourself and enjoy the game a bit more so the opponents have gone into a deep think Okay, so they brought the knight back. We could still go for the exchange, but is there anything? I think I'm just going to go for the exchange. We're plus one. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, really. Mm. Bishops on the dark square. I'll just attack this pawn, and then the queen comes down to defend. Or does the bishop just attack the queen anyway, because it's on the dark square? So it's like coming backwards, isn't it? Attacking the queen. Queen's already got this square. So I suppose in a way we could move the bishop here. 
and see if we can get that. I don't know if that works or not. Oh, but that's why he's brought the knight there probably, because the knight can just come in and block. So we come here, and the knight comes here, blocks. We still go here. So his knight's not going to jump anywhere because of that. So we will be, we will be able to put the check on, but then his king can move. We could get a draw maybe. Okay, let's go with that, attack the queen. Again, that was really just a one move calculation. Oh, is that two move? So, going to bring the bishop, like we said, go up to this plan here. If they do move, we can still put checks on and it's a draw. So at this moment in time, I'm thinking we're going into draw land. So hit, or maybe not, because if we go here, then we can go here, because the bishop's supported. Oh, brilliant, nice game.